Hi guys, Todd here. Tonight, yes I'm recording this tonight on the 14th uh, because I'm supposed to have the review up before the 15th. Uh, everybody else has released the review for this which is called Bob. Well it's not called Bob but I think we'll call it Bob for the rest of the review because the Mark Bugs Wizard Apprentice Evolved 2 is a bit of a mouthful, but uh, that's what it is. The Mark Bugs Wizard's Apprentice Evolved 2. Big things about this. Okay, a lot of people are going to know Mark Bugs, you know, the Chalice, the Wizard, you know, Wizard Evolved and all that kind of stuff. Uh, he really does make some pretty premium gear. The build quality of the gear that he normally puts out is usually top notch. Um, I have reviewed some of his stuff in the past, uh, I did not get on, me personally, I did not get on with the touch sensors on uh, the stuff that he's had in the past. Thankfully the Wizard Evolved does not have a touch sensor, it has a regular button on it, which we'll come back to. Uh, right, this is €250 Euros delivered to your door. Um, it's an 18650 tube mod with a DNA 30 board in it by Evolve and that's the banner headlines you know it's uh, it's a DNA 30 tube mod I'm just going to jump straight into this no messing about and we'll get on with it. Now this comes in your most folk that know Mark's uh, stuff it comes in the Bugs tin which thankfully the postman decided not to kick the shit out of which uh, all the ones in the past have had have had dents in them. This one was solid, and your mod comes in there in two parts. And once you put those two parts together, it looks like this. Now the mod broken down looks like this, and uh, we'll start. Well, actually, before we start, one thing I want to make clear: that is a 21 millimeter mod. Not 22, not 20, but 21 millimeters. So please bear this in mind. Top cap. The whole thing is basically made out of 303 stainless steel. And it's got this coating on it. It's like a... I forget how they get it. It's like tumbled. Uh, it's not polished. It's not brushed or satin or anything like that. It's... Strange because it's nice, don't get me wrong, I quite like it, but uh, anyway, you can see there that we have an adjustable 510 brass pin inside there. So you can, using a little screwdriver, you can adjust that up and down for your various atties. Brass contact here, which makes contact with this section in the head. Now this is your control unit, this is where your DNA 30 chip lives and uh, I have to say that this screen, it's a plexiglass uh, and the way this has been housed is uh, it's got to be said, it's, it's as near as damn perfect it doesn't get much better than this actually um, you know, we'll show you that once I put the battery inside but uh, you know, this just screws onto here like so I should point out there's talk of uh, an atomizer coming out from Mr. Bugs uh, that will thread directly into here and give you that kind of all-in-one hybrid look. So there's the top cap on and you can see you've got your grooves cut in here. Another brass connection here. I'm not going to take it to bits, I don't feel the need to uh, because it's just a DNA 30 board. Um, we have up and down buttons, firing button, and the Bob logo, or the Wizards Apprentice Evolved 2 uh, logo there. We then have our tube, which doesn't go on that way, it goes on that way. Listen, the, the threads in this are, uh, once again it's as good as it gets. Yeah, they're quite fine threads, but uh, yeah, it's just perfect. Um, you do have this gap here, uh, which kind of follows the form factor. You know, the, 
the gaps up, not gaps, but the, the grooves here, so you have that coming down the tube. Normally I wouldn't be a fan of that, but it kind of, you know, ties in with this, so it doesn't look that bad. Uh, we have the bottom cap, three vent holes at the bottom. We have Made in Romania, just in case you were wondering where it was made, serial number, and number two. Three vent holes going on here as well. Underneath you notice we don't have a spring, uh, the battery just makes direct contact with this bit in the bang in the middle, it's uh, kind of like raised, uh, so there's your connection down there. And this just screws on like so. And that is your device. Uh, top to bottom, you're looking at about 113 millimeters in length, and for an 18650 DNA 30 tube mod, that's small. That 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 really is. That's compact and bijou, Austin. Uh, that's really smart. Um, now, battery wise. I've been using AWIMR 18650s and when you screw that right in you get two matching gaps using the 18650s. However, if you have longer batteries than the AWIMRs, this bit is actually designed down here so that you have that much gap so you can put larger batteries in here uh, you know that's actually designed to have this extension I don't like it I have to admit I don't like it uh, I just because I don't like seeing more of a silver band here than up here but that's just me being a fussy sod uh, but you know that's how you adjust for battery sizes that's how you adjust for battery sizes if they are larger than an AWIMR. However, if you have batteries that are smaller than an AWIMR, you have a problem. They have a MKNE. Pop this in. Nothing. I've got a rattle. Uh, so I have an MKNE here, I have a Sony here, and they both don't work. Uh, so there you go. Not all batteries are going to fit in here. Uh, I have an E-Fest high discharge one here as well. Uh, and that doesn't work. So essentially your battery has to be, uh, pretty much has to have a nipple on top of it from what I can see. Uh, Nippleless batteries don't work. Well, depending on size they're not going to work I should say. Um, so as you can see the, the default size is going to be anything larger than an AWIMR18650. Now we have the... DNA 30 screen and I'm not going to go into great detail here I mean you've got the, the up and down buttons going up uh, 0.1 increments and you can go all the way up to 30 watts as it's a DNA 30 um, and all the way back down you can rotate it uh, so you can have it in left mode or right mode. Yeah, so if I take this and I, and I lock it, I can press the button five times. One, two, three, four, five. That's it locked. And, you know, using the buttons, you can hold down the firing button and the up and down buttons. You know, either one does individual things. Yeah, I can put it into left mode which has it like that, if I try that again there I am in right mode, so I've turned the screen round just holding the fire button and the I think that's the down one there and there I am in left mode 
I can also put it in stealth mode by holding the other button here and the firing button. I've got normal mode which I'm in and stealth mode which actually puts the screen off but it will still you know it'll still fire uh, and I can just switch that off go back to normal mode and there we go. If you hold the fire and the the two up and down buttons at the same time yeah, you can actually lock the wattage in. Hold them again and that's it gone. So that's just the basic functions with the, uh, you know, the DNA thirty chip. That should apply to all DNA thirty buttons and chip, uh, all DNA thirty mods, if they have that enabled. I should also point out that when you switch it on, when you put your first battery in, you get mark bugs coming up on, you know, that's your splash screen if you like. And and that's really it. That's about all I have to say on the up close stuff. Before I get in for the whole, this is how it vapes carry on. Uh, few things that we really need to discuss first. There's an elephant in the room. That's not TJ. Um, the 21 millimeters in diameter. Uh, I know a lot of folk are going to complain that it's 21 millimeters in diameter because they have 22 millimeter mod, uh, 20 mil, 22 millimeter toppers already. Uh, it's not the first time this has happened. There's other 21 millimeter mods out there. There's other 21 millimeter atties out there. Um, there's 20 millimeter atties out there. It's just one of these things. Um, it, it, you know, if he's releasing an atomizer to go on top of this, then yeah. But then he could have made it 22. But then he could have made it 20. It, in a perfect world, you know, we we would all be using the exact same diameter of mods. Uh, but it's not a perfect world, and. It's just one of these things that, if you're not a fan of uh, 20mm or 21mm mods, then this is not the device for you. You could say in some respects that he's limiting his market. I kind of think he is, uh, by just having it in 21 but yeah, that's just my opinion. Um, the other thing is the finish. Once again, this is no different to other mods. Some mods come stainless steel, brushed powder coated, engraved, all that jazz, you know, there's so many different things that, uh, once again, it's going to be a case of, do you like this finish? You either do or you don't. My temptation is to polish it, of course, uh, but uh, I don't find it offensive, but what I do think is that it picks up scuffs really easily, personally. I would like to have just seen a stainless steel or a brushed myself. Once again, that's just personal opinion, but I think that you know if this isn't going to be some of some kind of uh, you know sitting in a mantelpiece or just one of these things that never leaves the house, then you'll be fine. But if you buy one of these to use day to day, it's not going to look as good as that for very long because it will get scuffed. Uh, so bear that in mind. The batteries set up. It's. Yes, it does have this adjustment thing here going on, uh, which is great if you have batteries that are bigger than an AWIMR. If you have batteries that are smaller than an AWR, AWIMR, then you're, you're done for. Um, which is quite annoying because I have a lot of them. Uh, so I've had to be using um, magnetic spacers. That's just another thing that you're going to have to take into consideration. The buttons on here. The firing button is, is, is a delight to use. There's no it's just nice and soft. The up and down buttons are stiff, which is in my opinion is a very good thing because you know when you're holding it and whatnot you don't put the voltage up and down by mistake. It, the wattage it just doesn't happen with this thing. Uh, it, you need a solid push to get the wattage to go up or down. However, 
as much as the firing button is a delight to use, uh, I actually knocked it over. It was funny, it, Ben, uh, my boss, uh, he, he was talking to me and I went to reach for something and, and it, it just fell over. The mod actually fell over on the, the counter. And I've been using the, the Aqua because it's 21 millimeters on it. And when it fell over, it actually rolled over and landed on the button and started firing. Um, which was, I'm just laying it down here now and it's firing. So if, if you lie that down like that, with an atty on it, it fires. You could say, well, don't leave it lying down. <laughs> well, that's fine. But if it falls over, it's just going to keep firing uh, until the cutoff kicks in. So while, in a lot of respects, I love the firing button, I love the up and down buttons that they're stiff, and I, and I find it really comfortable to vape with, you know, just hold it like that. I actually use my thumb a lot when I'm vaping with it. I hold it like that. Um, no issues with that at all. Uh, I just, I just, I don't know how how would you how would you address that, or maybe you just you know you lock your mod uh, when you're not using it, and that would stop that happening. Don't know. It's just something you have to be aware of. Uh, aside from the negatives, the DNA thirty is bloody awesome. Uh, it's just a great bit of kit. Uh, it's a great board, and. I'll never use it all. I'll never use it all. I mean, I was actually vaping at 20 watts today for the first time, and that was awesome. Um, not that I did it for very long. Uh, I mean, I'm an 11, 12 watt kind of guy. That's as high as I go. But you've got all that power there. Uh, the DNA 30, you know, it's been covered in great detail in other places. Right, I'm now vaping this at 12 watts. Um, I did have it at 16. And I did go and take a draw on it, uh, but I'd run out of juice, so I just had a 16 watt dry hit on dual coil, and it was rank. Um, <laughs> uh, so I'm at 12 watts, uh, and I've got the Aqua on top, which is also 21 millimeters. So yeah, the finish doesn't match, and you're going to have that problem with pretty much anything until Mr. Bugs comes out with his own atomizer for the bob. Uh, we'll have a vape. And that's 12 watts and that's just a lovely vape that. Um, but that's more down to the aqua than anything else. I've been possibly uh, listed more negatives than positives here uh, but that's mainly because I want to point out the things that have been niggling me or the faults that I've found because of the price. It's 250 euros delivered, granted. It's an expensive mod. Now, what I will say is that this is, even with the niggles, a beautifully built and constructed piece of equipment. It's pretty much stunning and taking the battery sizes, or not the battery size, but taking the diameter out and the finish and all that, it's 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 just stunning. It is it, it really is stunning. Um anybody that knows Mark Bug's work, his previous work and has had any of his other gear, yeah, you you guys would be impressed. And anybody that you know hasn't come across it will just it is, it's beautiful. It is a thing of beauty, in my opinion it is, anyway. This is going to appeal to so many people. I mean, it's not going to be one for everybody. If you're a, an avid Mark Bugs fan type thing, then you will not be dis disappointed. If you've seen it and you think, I must have that, you will not be disappointed. Just be aware of the some of the things that I've pointed out. I think down the line this is going to be one of these it's going to be a collectible and I don't know how to say this I don't know if this is a, a comparison that I'm trying to think of a comparison to make I'm not a fan of the Privari I never have been and I've owned many of them and I own go through periods of owning them because no matter whether or not I, you know, I don't 
like them because I find them a bit soulless if you can attribute that to a piece of equipment. Um, they are without a doubt stunning at what they do. You know, they're just, they work uh, and they continue to work and you can't fault them in that respect. They just have that certain build quality and this is the same, it just has that certain build quality. It's stunning. It is just, you know this was built well. Um, does it deserve the price tag because of that? That's for you to decide. Me personally, and you know what kind of stuff I like, well most folk do, I like, I do like high-end gear. Uh, this is my kind of thing. I, can't, I really, the quality is just superb. I don't know what else to say. I've pointed out the negatives, the things I don't like. Pointed out the positives, the quality. And, you know, they're going to be released tomorrow, uh, the 15th. So if you're wanting one, you'd better get along to Mark Bugs' website, which will be up in the corner somewhere. I just kind of wish that he'd released the atomizer at the same time rather than releasing the mod and then you have to wait for the atomizer because you might not like the bloody atomizer you know it might not be your thing so you might not want to buy it ah it's just one of these things you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it and i'll leave it at that listen there's a all the reviews are, are, are out the big you know scott and uh mike fuel the vapor uh Bissardo and there was somebody else, a couple of others I think have done the reviews. I'd recommend that you go and watch them. Uh, they're probably a lot better than anything I've done uh, and give you more information. Um, going to leave it at that. I'd like to thank Mark Bugs for sending this on. I did get this free for review and uh, to you guys as always, you know the drill. Thank you very much for watching and putting up with me as always. Cheers now. Bye. Um, I mean, I'm firing a 0 0.7 ohm coil, 16 watts here, putting out 3.6 volts, and... <coughs> oh, you fucking spanner. Jesus wet. I'm alright. Yeah, I'm alright. I'm fine. Yes, you worried I was dying there. So was I. I must be out of juice. <laughs>